this is where it comes in super handy. I just hold in that cord, move the mouse out of the way. Guide button cord configuration. I mean, I just woke up today, I'm like, you know what? I want to talk about guide button cord configuration. What this is, you might not even realize, just another part of the flexibility of this controller, is that this basically gives us an entire list of shortcuts under the Steam button. If we go in here, I've tweaked some things around. Now basically, like, I mostly would use this for recording. Like, I have a shortcut to toggle my record off and on, um, mute my mic if I'm streaming or something. You know, I only want to engage the mic when I'm answering a question. And then A is like, let's get out of... So if I hold in the cord and then A, it takes off that controller overlay. So, you know, if I'm going into uh, the big big picture configuration to show you something, which I always kind of forget to do, but, like, I'm going to be making a video on this. I'm not there yet. But like, right here, I would want to toggle that off. Be like, yeah, so you can see everything. I just always end up... <laughs> I just totally tumbles out of my head when I'm recording. But... Just as an example of something cool that you can add in there. So you just go to settings and then controller, guide cord, configuration. There's also, if you didn't realize, you can make your own for big picture and your own for the desktop. Like for the uh, big picture, I have changed it from the default. The default basically was just using the face buttons. I made the trackpad and right pad is a mouse cursor. You know, so I can just move around, gyro mouse, or tap left and right. Get that out of the way. So you can configure all that stuff, but that is a little off the point. I just wanted to talk about this guide button cord configuration. Now I will also mention the, the default that they have has... Uh, alt tab functions and I just earlier today had alt tab functions on mine I don't know if this is a Windows change or a Steam change but it is not behaving the way it should for me I'm, I was having something where it's like locking in my alt key so I'm just going to throw that warning out there use that one you, know, you use it but like I was to disable it I was having to turn the controller off uh unplug the dongle and completely shut down Steam. Otherwise, my alt key on my system was stuck on, so. So that was frustrating. But yeah, you can uh, add in power off if you don't like holding that button for a long time. The, uh, you know, generally, I guess, if you didn't realize that either, you can hold in that button to turn the controller off. Which is what I usually do. But you could also put in a little, you know, tap that middle button and hit start. And it'll immediately turn off. Like I put in task manager. If I'm in a game and I need to, it's locked up, I need to do something else. And where this also comes in handy is, uh, see right, like you can see the button prompts, it's all controller. I'm moving that right pad. It's not doing anything because... I have everything set to controller. This is where it comes in super handy. I just hold in that cord, move the mouse out of the way. And that's super simple. I just hold in this button, and then I can move the cursor off the screen. Instead of having to, like, you know, put in something specific on this profile, that would make no sense at all. So yeah, that's the, uh, the guide button cord configuration. Easy to overlook, but once you know it's there, you can put some really useful things on it. Uh, the only only limitation, too, I guess I should mention, is uh, like you're not going to be able to put on any touch menus or radial menus because those require the big picture overlay, and this is not cutting into that. Like you don't even get that option to add them in. So it's a little bit limited, but still you can do quite a bit. So all right. Yeah, that's it. Guide button cord configuration. I will see you around.